My name is Melanie Sorensen. I'm a part of the Emerging Wildlife Conservation Leaders, and I'm in Belize working on the Yellow-Headed Parrot Conservation Project. Currently, we're in the Rio Bravo Conservation Management Protection Area, and we're working with Program for Belize, which has two field stations within this 240,000-acre property. So the pine savanna is a pretty unique habitat. There's kind of low grasslands, but there's only one type of pine tree. It's called the Caribbean pine, and that's the only tree that these birds can nest in. And they actually nest in the trees after maybe a woodpecker has started a hole looking for larvae or insects or things like that. But then they kind of clean out the hole a little bit and lay their, their eggs inside these nests. So yellow-headed parrots are endemic to this region of Belize, which means they're only found in Belize and within the last 10 years, they've had a 90% decline in their numbers. Currently, Program for Belize is working with the park rangers to try to protect this area, the pine savanna, where the yellow-headed parrot nests. And it's nesting from February until June, but unfortunately there are many people that break into the protected area to cut the trees down and take the nests of the chicks to sell them into the pet trade. Uh, they're cutting down trees to use as ladders to prop up against the trees where the nests are, and they're stealing the chicks right out of those nests. We saw evidence of all of that in just one day for uh, a few hours with the park rangers here. What happened is that um, poachers came in and they actually cut this tree down with machete. The reason for that is that this is a nesting tree that actually had two yellow-headed parrots nesting in it, which is very rare. And what you see here is the way, what they did to take the, the chicks out of the nest. Do you have any idea who did it? Um, yeah, we have an idea who did it. One of the things about Belize is that if there are 10 people here, you're related to at least two or three of them, <laughs> right? Yeah, and um, that's one of the one of the advantage we have in that sense. But the problem is that um, it is considered a petty crime. Um, but we can't prove it. If we can't find the birds, we can't prove it. Right? So on our um, second day here, we went out with some of the park rangers on their ATV vehicles to get to some of the nesting sites where the birds are um, having their chicks and we did see a chick actually two chicks which we were really excited about but as we got a closer look into the nest we found that one of the chicks had recently died probably within 24 hours of us getting there and if you starve rest in peace so the park rangers are working on protection but they're also doing education in the villages and communities surrounding the protected area to try to educate the kids on um, not owning the parrot as well as uh, talking to them about logging and using the pine savanna uh, trees for logging and construction. So we're trying to help just the capacity building, giving the rangers what they need to do their job. Um, they're doing it well now, but they could do it better if they had a, uh, some more equipment like ATV equipment, um, actually even just more rangers and manpower. So coming up with funds to be able to supply salaries for our rangers so they can have more on the ground protecting these birds. Also, uh, we would like to give them uh, money to help with the education portion of their project. So helping with printing of posters and um, vehicle and gas to even get the rangers to the communities to do the education that needs to be done. It's just an amazing, unique bird. And if you're a tourist and you're coming to Belize, um, you're probably coming to see some of the natural beauty that's here. And that pine savanna is one of those things you want to be able to see, as well as the call of the yellow-headed parrot. Um, seeing it on a nest, seeing it with chicks, and seeing it thriving and doing well. And to be able to be part of a group where we can fundraise and help these people with a project to help in turn save this parrot and just protect kind of the culture of Belize and educate those hmm. kids. All of that is something that's really near and dear to my heart. So, you know, it, it's hard. It's just sometimes it get discouraging, but somebody have to do it anyway. Aww.